Good morning, gentlemen. My name is uh, Fahd Shaibani. Uh, I'm talking about myself. I joined to uh, Saudi Aramco since 2006. I spent two years in Fire Academy, and then I go in the field 10 years. Uh, I'm so happy to, to be here in Miami Dade Fire Rescue Fellowship Program, and my capstone project will, will be about technical rescue and confined space. Uh, uh, it's a huge uh, subject. I cannot contain this sh subject. I consider and focus on the challenges that we face and recommendation uh, to mitigate and minimize uh, even the time of uh, the losses of uh, lives or saving lives. Outline would be introduction and uh, current challenges, recommendation, update and change, and then the sum. Introduction, uh, as we know, that technical rescue and confined space one of the most critical and risky responses from the firefighter and uh, fire officer. Unfortunately, failures and losses of life was happening. Uh, technical risk on the confined space is a rare recurrence incident which make our job is so difficult. We cannot uh, imagine or uh, imagine and how how can we uh, uh, what we face for to, of us. Uh, always enhance and provide the proper training, uh, especially training ground and uh, the all equipment that fit with the. Uh, specific subject. Always expect an acceptable and uh, always uh, you know, consider the sudden change in this type of incident. Types, types of this incident, earthquake, uh, floods, hurricane, terrorist attack, building collapse, mass uh, transportation accident, and will mine uh, collapse. <coughs> this is one of the pictures here. We have the last two uh, big things, uh, Hurricane Harvey and Irma, which are most tragedy you know, uh, incident. Current challenges, some firefighters, they take, the, I'm talking about firefighters in the whole world, you know, not in this country or in this Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Uh, so in Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, especially in the TRT unit, they drill monthly or even weekly. They have drill, they have training. This is make me happy. I'm talking about the uh, 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 TRT around the world. Firefighter, they take the course once a time and they didn't take any uh, refresher course or major drills or uh, combined drill with the other units or uh, other departments. Uh, lack of knowledge and skills sometimes you don't have the proper <laughs> equipment that uh, fit the proper tax or uh, you know the uh, proper t techniques to do the uh, the job uh, knowledge and skills was not delivered in the right way even you have to make sure that the structure themselves they are qualified and they are high potential uh, buoys. And uh, this is the incident was rare occurrence. Recommendation, provide more training skills, or provide the proper training ground. Uh, make sure the instructor has qualified. So it is, uh, always define the area of uh, weakness and the area of uh, strength, and work to improve the this uh, areas uh, create a professional team that evaluate the firefighters and officers and also the instructors. Picture in the field we have here in art MBA we have here in I rescue we have here the packaging system. Uh, last maybe two weeks uh, the Florida International University. The bridge collapse. Uh. Drag and drop. It's perfect. Hi, I'm Corey.
Cardoso. And I use wick. Miami and Yossi cook a lot. It's sad for us that I almost died. Uh, six people, they are died in this incident. Miami Dade Ferris commitment, they did have done outstanding job, uh, performance here. But sometimes we have incident that out of our control. I want to ask uh, Chief Downey if uh, allow me the just brief uh, about the incident and how many people rescued and how many people, uh, I think that six people, and how many hours take or days and what, what the challenges we, uh, they uh, may have been dead for rescue they face. So we, <coughs> we transported nine victims, one died of his injuries that we transported. Uh, five victims were crushed and killed in their vehicle, uh, in uh, four vehicles. So each vehicle had one, one vehicle had two people in it. Um, there were eight total vehicles. Four were crushed, four were partially crushed. Um, our, uh, uh, our rescue operations uh, lasted from Two in the afternoon till ten o'clock at night, and then we, we transitioned to recovery. Recovery lasted from ten o'clock on Thursday night until six or nine o'clock Saturday night. So almost almost forty eight hours for recovery to remove the four vehicles with victims in it. Um, at the height, we had over a hundred firefighters on the scene including our technical rescue specialists, engineers, and search dogs, canines. And, uh, I don't know, any other? Uh, the, the, because the people, they thought from us that we can't say if anyone had to stop. They didn't focus on that. There is a big concrete. We cannot move it quickly. We have to focus and uh, put the rules and follow the rules because maybe we will lose our life or our limits. And right. We, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the way we address it is rescue surface victims, rescue those lightly trapped, which we did, then start identifying those that are uh, trapped that are going to require a little bit more work um, and uh, start to identify, you know, where those people are. Uh, you're right. Based on the construction, it's a post-tension construction. Uh, that basically it was a slab of one piece of concrete that had no support. So had we started to try to lift it, it would have fallen apart and caused further crush. Um, you know, it, it, uh, it's a hard decision to make when you say nobody else can be rescued, but that decision has to be made based on a risk benefit of we'll risk a lot to save a lot, we won't risk a lot if we can't save anybody. Based on the nat nature of the collapse, we were in the situation where there was nobody else that we could save. After we exhausted, we used voice, we used listening devices, we used our search cameras and our canines. So it wasn't just looking around and saying, nobody's here. So just like we do on every incident of this nature, we always use at least two means of verifying a survivor and two means of verifying somebody who's deceased. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <coughs> update change. We have to update our equipment, change our equipment to minimize the time uh, in order to save life quickly and safely. 
safety always conduct awareness for the firefighters. Don't uh, act uh, to be a hero, especially in this type of incident. We have to focus and uh, size up uh, and see what we have and what we need and what our end state will, will be. References we go for NBA organization and fire engineering. Summary, recognize the uh, reason of taking a risk and from what based incident failure. Define the challenges that face the firefighters and the officers. Provide adequate knowledge and training, uh, training for firefighters and leaders. Focusing, focusing in firefighting and safety uh, and uh, victim as well. Thank you very much.